Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, today I wanted to kind of take you through some HF radios. Boy, this is a great time if you want to upgrade your radio or, uh, you know, you've got an older radio, maybe even a tube radio from the uh, <coughs> 60s or 70s and you want to upgrade to some solid state uh, stuff uh, and transistor radio type uh, HF radios, now is a great time to do it. So I wanted to give you a few recommendations uh, for some HF radios that you may want to look at. <clears throat> so let's get into the uh, little review of some of these. Well, here I am on the Gigaparts website. I'm going to check out the prices on these uh, radios right now. And uh, at the current time, and today is July 15th, 2017. So, um, of course, if you're looking at this video a year from now, some of these prices may not be right. Uh, in fact, on these radios, it may be a bit cheaper than what I'm showing you right here after another year or so. But uh, let's start off with uh, what's a real popular uh, HF rig right now, getting great reviews, and that's the ICOM 7300. It's uh, what they call an SDR type radio, and uh, here's what it looks like. Here's what the back end looks like, just to give you a quick view of it. And, uh, of course, you could go to Gigaparts and just search for ICOM 7300 and see all this. So, at this time, uh, they got a little deal on it, a little bit, and uh, it looks like they've got a rebate that gets the price down to $1249, $1249. Very modern radio. Uh, I have not seen any bad reviews of any uh, consequence on this particular radio. Everybody that's uh, used it or owns it uh, has nothing but uh, mostly very good things to say about it. So anyway, that would be my one of my top choices right now would be an ICOM 7300. Let's move along and I got to talk about a used radio right now. <clears throat> if you're interested in getting into a fully uh, software defined radio right now, Flex Radio, as I've said in some previous videos, has been taking uh, older Flex Radios in trade, uh, refurbishing them, certifying them, and then reselling them on their site. So right now they've got uh, well they've got five thousands for sale and fifteen hundreds for sale <clears throat> on their website. Uh, but here's a Flex three thousand, which is a hundred watt uh, HF radio SDR, and they've got it for eight ninety nine right now. Now this radio has a ninety day guarantee from Flex Radio and uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be hesitant at all of buying one of these Flex certified radios. Uh, I have a feeling they've uh, looked them over real well, fixed anything they found, uh, cleaned them up, and uh, then offered them for sale. And they do have a 90 day warranty. So if you want to get into a full-blown SDR radio, this would be the one. They all come with internal tuners, antenna tuners. So you get a SDR radio with an internal tuner uh, for $8.99. That's, uh, that's a great deal for Flex 3000. All right, let's move on. Getting back to a more traditional radio, uh, you know the old Yaesu 857, 897 have been superseded now by the Yaesu 991A, 991A. 
here it is. Uh, it's uh, what I call an all band radio. You can see from 160 to 6 meters, and it also functions on 2 meter and 70 centimeter. And they've got a little discount going on over at Universal Radio and puts it at $13.49. So if you're a Yesu fan, uh, this would probably be a great radio for you. Uh, <clears throat> again, uh, I haven't heard anything bad about these radios. Uh, I think they had a few little bugs in the first ones that came out, but from what I understand, those have been corrected with some firmware updates, so uh, I wouldn't hesitate in buying this if this appeals to you. So that would be another one of my recommendations, a Yesu FT-991A. And uh, looking back at a radio that's been around for a while now, uh, but uh, recently it's uh, gotten some big discounts from ICOM and that's the ICOM 7100 again this is an all band radio 100 watts uh, as you can see 160 through 10 meters plus 6 plus 2 plus uh, uh, 440 and uh, great price right now 8 49 849 and this radio is uh, already D star capable so you'll be able to uh, attach this to your computer and uh, or reach a D star repeater directly with RF and get on the D star network so uh, boy this is a <laughs> This is a great value right now, in my opinion, uh, is this ICOM 7100. Now, some people don't like the uh, black and white type screen, and it is a touch screen. But other than that, uh, most everybody has said it works uh, very well, and uh, really no big deal problems with this radio that I've heard about. So at 849 over here, that's a great buy on a 7100. And uh, if you're looking at these prices and you're saying, uh, boy, I don't have uh, 849, well then let me put you on to uh, a basic type HF radio that again has good reviews seems to have a what's called a hot receive uh, and uh, it's available right now for 634 634 from DX engineering and that's the ICOM IC 718 now I think they've got some upgrades that you can uh, put on top of this price so if you're interested in this radio I would read all about it uh, just to find out, uh, you know, is there a DSP board you can add to it? Or there's some additional uh, upgrades you can make to this radio before you have it shipped. So uh, do read about that before you settle on a 718. Make sure you get one the way you want it. Anyway, another good radio if you're... Uh, kind of money challenged uh, this would be a great first radio HF radio for you would get you on the air at 100 watts uh, does not do 2 meter or 70 centimeter but it does do all the HF bands so again that's the ICOM 718 and then finally uh, if uh, you prefer a radio that you might want to take out into the field and do a lot of portable work with it, then uh, I would say uh, the ICOM 7200 might be your radio. Uh, notice the handles on it that protect the front end. And let's see if I can take a look at the back of this radio. Yeah, right here. And I don't know if you can notice this from the picture, but all these uh, buttons and uh, connections are recessed 
into the back of the radio so you can actually uh, set this radio up on its bottom vertically and not hurt any of the connections. It also incorporates the same, uh, I don't want to call it waterproofing, it's not waterproofing, but it, it contains the same gasketing, gaskets and things like that uh, in the buttons and the case that they're marine radios, the marine radios from ICOM uh, use. So uh, <clears throat> again, I wouldn't be afraid of taking this out and you know it might start raining and you got to run inside and carry it inside it might get a little damp uh, probably wouldn't do anything to this radio so uh, would make a good uh, portable station that you can take out in the field and not have uh, so many worries about moisture or uh, splash resistance uh, this is uh, ICOM 7200. So anyway, right now, uh, today, there's a bunch of... right. This is not at all all-inclusive. It's just some of the more popular ones that uh, recently the price has dropped on it. Like uh, this 7200 down to 849 right now on gigaparts. Uh, and any of these radios would make a great uh, HF radio uh, and would probably be an upgrade against some of the older uh, HF radios uh, uh, of any of the uh, popular brands uh, that if you, you're stuck with an older radio and you want to upgrade, well now is the time to do it. There's a bunch of radios out there, great radios that are available at very reasonable prices for an HF rig. Anyway, with that said, I wish you clear skies in 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. See y'all later.